Hello, and this is Harold again from Hidden Room Studio. Victor was asking me how my setup is for Voxengo Span for the analyzer. So I want to show you what my setup is and actually what Voxengo Span is. Voxengo Span is a graphical frequency analyzer that is free. Voxengo is the name of the company, Span is the name of the plugin. I will put the link in the description of this video. This is one of the best, if not the best, analyzer I ever had in my hands. It looks like this when I play the music. And has some real cool functions like you can zoom and resize the window if you want to. And you can have meters here and statistics. That is here a meter, a correlation meter and some statistics about your music and you can zoom into the analyzer you can um, copy the settings have different settings you can use for example for here for mastering averaging slow and high resolution so just let me show here what the difference is between for example default and mastering it's the number of bands you see here this is now the default version this is now for mastering, 96k, averaging, so you get a steady picture after some time, so that this is average, and so and so on. Okay, you see me working a lot with this uh, span analyzer, in most all my videos I use this. And how do I set it up? Uh, there's two ways or more ways to set it up. And I want to show you my preferred one. So the way I set this analyzer up is into the control room. So that means if you watch the other video I made about the control room, everything that's going to my speakers is going through the analyzer and the analyzer will not change the sound. So here on the right zone, I have my control room. If you do not have the control room, you have to put it in your stereo bus or in your mix bus. So if you see the control room here, down here you have that uh, part where you can click on inserts and there you can insert all the things that you have. In my case, it's the span. Then I have here my oscilloscope, which I used for the EDM uh, sound making live stream. Then I have an audio analyzer, another one from Melder Production, a loudness analyzer. And these here, the VST to WDM and the rear stream is for streaming my music to OBS, so you can hear in the video. And the iZone is for simulating different speaker and speaker setup like uh, TV, mono speakers and so on. And to be able to switch very fast here, um, I'm using the workspaces in Cubase. So let me go to workspaces. In workspaces, you can set up your whole screen. You have a double screen or three screens or only one monitor. And you can set it up and you can store it and restore it by using the Alt key and the number pad on your keyboard. And then you can recall the preset. And let me show you my presets. I have some here for projects, project and, mini and mix console, projects in HD. So if I click here, everything will change and I have the project alone, only the project and it will save everything. So I have, for example, here arranger and mixer in two screens, all six. This is the one I use the most. So on my left screen, I have the arranger. On the right screen, I have the mixer and the Voxengo span will be opening. So if I click here, the Voxengo is on my right screen here and the right screen is also my mixer or if i recall here the alt button and nine then i have in this case my mixer in the front everything on one screen and the voxengo also will open here uh, i have some more here project start and a project arranger and media bay so this way i have my arranger on my left monitor and the media bay on my right monitor that's here so i can for example use my samples and 
drag them over from the media bay into my arrangement. So um, most of the time I'm using this as a shortcut to cut my span, but the problem is it will reset my arranger window. So if I zoom now here into the arranger window and I recall one of the workspaces, like with the Alt 6, I recall the one with um, on the left side the arranger, on the right side the mixer, like this, then it will go to the way it is stored as full version here, so as full arrangement. But that's okay. So it's two ways to go to the Voxengo then from my side. Either I go here, I have most of the time my control room like this, and then I simply click on the span here to open it, I drag it over, or I recall one of the workspaces uh, so I have fast access to the Voxenko. So this is a good way to do it if you do not have the Cubase Pro and you don't have the control room or you don't want to use the control room for any reason. Then you simply have to put it in your mixer. That means you go to your mix bus here in your mix bus the stereo out or in your mix bus and put it in one of the inserts here. So I'm using this a lot. I mean, you can also put it in the individual channels, but um, this way, if I want to mix, I just let my music run like this. Let me go here. Okay. Let me go here. If I want to solo something, I just go here. And solo this, for example, the hi hat or the gated snare. So I have this on solo, and here I have all the time my mix. And um, the good thing about working with this is I have it running all the time. And the more you have it running all the time, and the often you use it, the more you get used to it, and the more knowledge you get about how your music should look like here. And also, if you saw my video about using the control room, the QSense um, for here, the QSense for referencing, you will also have the reference here because the referencing is going over the control room and you will see the frequency response of your reference. So you can compare your mix to your reference, also analyze it frequency wise. So I hope this helps. I put the link in the description. Please like and subscribe if that was useful for you. This is the Voxengo Span. This is free. There's also a pro version out there that has a little bit more features, like you can compare individual set channels and see multiple frequency responses here in the window. And uh, this is free and it's really worth it. And in my opinion, one of the best I ever had in my hands. So thanks for watching. See you next time. This has been Harold from Hitroom Studio. Thank you.